Mm-hmm. Is this thing on? Are we coming in clear? What's up, bitches? I'm just doing my thing that I always do. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing stupid stuff today. Well, um, New York, New York, baby. I think I'm gonna try to go out and actually get some good stuff with this camera, you know? Problem is I don't got a job. I need a job to get money. I need money to travel. But I just gotta comment on certain things. I think that, uh, you know, there's potential with this world. Especially considering we've just discovered some really great technology in the last couple of years. We're having a lot of technological breakthroughs coming down the pipe. Um, we're really going to have some amazing technology benefiting all of us uh, as a collective. Uh, graphene. This material is cheap, easy to produce. It's going to change the way we use our cell phones, communicate. And of course, the battery industry is going to benefit tremendously from it very soon. They already are building those kinds of batteries that are using graphene technology. Basically, it's a uh, superconductor. That's what they call it. It's able to conduct electricity instantaneously almost. It's like there's no kind of drag to the electricity or any kind of like loss. It just perfectly conducts it. So that's exactly what batteries need for that you know, initial punch of power. And we're getting more of those batteries on the market. Someday they're going to create batteries out of the stuff completely so that it stores the energy and of course transmits the energy instantaneously. So that's really exciting. There's even thoughts of building entire aircraft out of the material. This material, this stuff is able to withstand impact better than steel. And it's light. It's you know, it's not you know, it's amazing material. What they're gonna do with it is of course um, if you change what the aircraft is made of something that's extremely durable yet light no doubt it's going to be a better aircraft and of course you can actually like make the wheels out of it the thing I'm interested in is like the uh, endurability of it what can you create that would actually be stronger and yet lighter. That's the thing about it. It's an amazing discovery. The people who discover it got Nobel Prizes for it because just this one discovery is going to change a lot of things. And even in the medical industry, they need some sort of like method to trans, you know, uh, attack cancer. Whatever this stuff is, is able to go in there and because it produces heat, it's able to hold an electric charge, so I'm guessing that when they put it in the body, it's going to be able to produce heat in that area and kill cancerous cells. That's an amazing thing as well. Uh, so that's exciting technology. They're working on a new jet engine they're coming out with soon. Some sort of... Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the complexity of it. It's some sort of new type of jet engine that's going to propel aircraft faster than supersonic. And uh, it's supposed to be some sort of... Uh, when, 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 it, when the air... The jet exhaust goes... And it can be... I think it's like a recycle... It recycles the jet exhaust somehow. I gotta look into it. But apparently this type of engine that they're coming up with is going to be superior to the ones that we have now and change everything uh, the airline industry definitely needs change it is a mess it's just it's a mishmash of old technology and new technology all in the same way they need to really revamp it hopefully that they're, 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 they're going to but of course, this is all industry stuff. They want money first. They're not worried about creating better technology that benefits us all. It's about how can we make money fast, speedily, quickly. For the, you know, you know I, I got ways, man. I got ways they can improve everything about airlines. Uh, of course, use updated aircraft. That's first and foremost. Don't just use the old. That's what they're doing. That's the issue. 
the biggest problem that they're using old planes but they did because they don't want to use new ones so we have mechanical failures left and right we have so much bullshit going on that we probably wouldn't have with better aircraft you'd be lucky to get to your destination I guarantee you because the aircraft they're using are not new they are really old 90s planes you know so I'd hope that they just make better planes first of all next thing to do is to create a system that doesn't require a tow bar pullback that's what I'm saying about new technology and old these are Airbuses they have the best technology on board auto flight auto landing auto leveling this is top of the line stuff and yet they have to be tugged to and from the gate so if you don't get your destination on time it's because someone broke the tar bar when they were pushing back the plane it's all nice and smooth when you're in the aircraft and you're happy and you're just listening to your headset and you don't care about the people underneath the plane doing their thing but there's drama man there's so much bullshit that those people go through to push a plane and it doesn't need to happen they're working on aircraft with electric wheels basically the pilot will drive the aircraft to the gate park it reverse the aircraft out of the gate and be on his way there will be no more tow bar bullcrap because that's drama I can tell you right now how many times there wasn't a tow bar for that flight today and we had to go find one that will be eliminated with this stuff just do it it's great it's a good idea because this what this does is allow the pilot to actually not have to wait for anybody he's in control of the flight on the ground and in the air sad thing I have to say about being a pilot is, is that they are just like at the mercy of uh, the ground staff once the plane hits the ground it's just they park it and and just you know that, 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 that's that's tough for them I'm thinking they love to fly planes they got the job for the dream of flying a plane they did never think I have to be taking orders from somebody with little wands at the end of my flight but that's how they do it they fly the plane to the destination and then the entire flight is up to that guy on the ground going come on come on come in that's about, that's pretty much it and every flights like that it never stops they do all the drama they have to do to get the flight in the air soaring and then they, they land it and it's just this little creepy crawly to the end of the and if they mess it up oh boy that's the problem there there's so much can go wrong in that they may they may get through a flight that lasts 11 hours all the way to Japan but if they hit anything or someone gets sucked in the engine or they run someone over right there at that last minute and it does happen that's a really sucky day for that pilot I guarantee you they just survived a long oceanic flight and only took all it took was someone hitting the plane or something when they were landing it so imagine if that whole thing was eliminated nobody comes to wave the pilot in they just land the plane they drive to the gate if they overshoot the mark they can reverse the plane oh so much would be solved with that oh my god I mean it's just no-brainer anyway technology is definitely going places these self-driving cars I'm not you know I'm reading articles on it they say that at the current level of the technology is not safe for for road use I think it's never gonna be safe for road use only a human being can drive cars and even then the statistics don't lie human beings crash left and right so what's up with that and also I can't I, I go ahead and do it build a fake city have nothing but robot cars driving around in it all day and look at what happens put in every scenario you could think of dogs and cats running around the streets whatever you could think of to actually kinda create a realistic setting for those things and see what happens human drivers save lives far more than any kind of robot although well, that's 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 the, that's the argument a robot won't need rest a robot will keep going a robot thinks faster better and smarter than a human being 
how could this fail? Well, go ahead and try. I'm gonna guarantee you there's gonna be a lot more accidents with robots and a human driver because we have unpredictability. We can go with the flow, we got gut instinct. That's what I'm talking about. You can't emulate that with a machine. A machine's always going to be going by its program. Even if it's programmed to have some kind of human unpredictability, it's going by a program. Human beings have something called a soul. It's just this thing that you feel. It's not about right, wrong, ones and zeros and quantifiable logic.